So as photographers, we all have our own niches, our own inspirations, things that keep us going, things we like to go out and shoot, um, that kind of thing. I, I tend to be a little bit all over the place. You can blame ADD for that. But, uh, you know, I, one of the things that really got me into photography was cityscapes and urban decay, as well as cars. Um, so those are like my three things that I still love to go out and shoot. Now, once upon a time, this place, this is the, it's called, uh, well, it used to be called Old Taylor uh, Distillery. But uh, it is now called Castle and Key. And all this used to be abandoned for probably close to 50 years. And, well, they bought the property and have restored so much of it. And when I mean restored, I mean restored. Like, if there was a gauge that could be saved for the distilling processes and all that, they did it. Um, they redid the landscaping, got it all nice and beautiful. This little garden area is absolutely gorgeous um, now. But before, you know, you should just be overgrown weeds and falling down buildings. Um, I'm not sure if the building up here is still falling down or not, but we will get to that here in a second. Um, and once upon a time, I came out here before uh, the people who own it now and have done all this amazing work to restore it. Um, I came out here and did some photography and fell in love with this place. Now, I know I did a video yesterday talking about um, how bourbon horses in UK are pretty much all Kentucky. And I really try not to shoot that, but I mean, this is an exception because here we can see uh, this building. Uh, as they've actually started tearing some of it down. I don't know if they're going to tear all of it down, but they've definitely torn quite a bit of it down. Uh, but this all used to be collapsed in on itself. Now, if they do the same thing they've done with some other buildings, hopefully they restore this and, and rebuild the sections that are gone. So, new roof, new wall, center wall here. Um, up here you can see a barrel transfer system. I got a couple barrels up there just for display. Not sure... I'm guessing maybe they probably used to load trucks up in that area or something and they would get elevated down. It's a really neat industrial place. And then you got an old dock back here. Let's see if we can get some zoom. We way too much zoom, but old dock there. Back to wide angle. Um, one of the many water towers. Let's go a little closer. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, and then as you walk down this road, you get a couple more barrel houses. So this back here is a barrel house. Um, as you can see a vat of something. Um, so yeah, they, they do distill their own bourbons, whiskeys, whatever. And they also, um, I think, are licensed to produce other companies. Um, they're definitely licensed to house other companies, so like Maker's Mark or Jim Beam or... Um, stuff like that actually have storage space here on this property so i think it's a good way for them to keep revenue coming in um, if they're not producing enough to you know pay the bills or to pay the renovations so you can see this building has definitely seen better days and uh well i've got my nikon in 2020 with me and my polaroid with me and uh this is stuff I like uh, a lot just, just urban decay this would be more I guess rural decay because we're out in the country um, but this place before it was all rebuilt and stuff you could tell it was just randomly closed one day because like you would walk around the property and you would still see things <coughs> people's personal belongings and stuff still just kind of laying around in lockers and like the lunchroom was still ready to go for the next morning and all the booths and stuff were still there and it was really weird and kind of eerie but uh you know it is what it is um see some more of the barrel transport rail down there it runs straight down so i'm not sure if they were unloading or re i would imagine they were probably unloading instead of loading but uh from that parking lot up there down to here 
maybe there were dips where the return barrels would come in off the trucks. I'm not terribly sure, but uh, I'm going to shoot a couple pictures here. And then we're going to walk around the corner and uh, I'll show you the barrel house down there. It's kind of neat looking too. Now back there where all those trailers are, there was like two utility garages i guess you could call them um or maybe service garage or something like that um i did happen to back when this was all abandoned i did happen to go through it a little bit walk around explore it and i did find um some old glass bottles i did keep one for myself which i still have at the house um it's kind of a uh, faded white glass now but um you know it's just a little souvenir from the trip kind of thing it was kind of buried in the ground uh, so that was my little souvenir from this place's original condition uh, right here used to be something and i can't remember what it was it was probably too dilapidated to save um, and you can kind of see the outline of the of the structure of the wall this is kind of like a stone building um, probably a small barrel house or something like that or maybe a storage facility uh, although there does appear to be like a chimney looking thing there. I don't know what that was. Um, but they've just kind of like looked like they're repurposing it into like a guard, like a event holding place. I don't know. Probably for weddings or receptions or something like that. Um, and then here as we come around the corner, uh, we got the big barrel house. The original one. And this thing just kind of got that creepy look to it. I'm not sure why the walls have like turned black over time. The brick has like turned black, but um, it's just such a cool looking building. It's just very rustic, very original. Here you can see another barrel transfer rail. So this, I can't smell it today. Sometimes when you come by here, you can just smell the the uh, bourbon aging. And then this is the kind of place you would store your bourbon in to age it. Um, and I want to go ahead and just put this out there. I don't drink. I used to drink. I don't drink anymore. I'm not terribly interested in like history of bourbon and stuff. But I do find history to be something fun to learn and important to learn. But, uh, you know. There's, there's history all around us and cool stories all around us. Cool buildings all around us. I think it's part of the awesome thing of photography is getting out and seeing it. And if you can learn a little bit about it, it's even better. Um, you know what? Let's walk back a couple feet because you can see... Oh, there we go. Hopefully the sun doesn't ruin this too badly. But, um... I'm going to find... Yep, up there... You can see some barrels in the haze of the sun. Uh, I can't, oh, wait, wait, there we go. Get my hand over it, there we go. So you can see some barrels up there, aging away. Um, waiting for their time to be, be consumed and, and sold and shipped and all that. Now, Another thing about this area I really like is, especially now that it's starting to turn fall and we're starting to get some, some colors on the leaves. This, once this section of trees really has changed color, man, it's going to make a pretty picture right here. Um, but I do love driving this road. I like coming out here in the car. I like coming out here on the bike. Uh, this is an awesome road. There are some sections you've got to slow down for uh, because they go through smaller cities, um, these little tiny micro cities. And then you do have places like this, which have quite a bit of tourists coming through. So you got to, you know, be careful there too. Because uh, there's a lot of people crossing the street, not looking, not paying attention. Um, and whatnot. But I could walk the rest of this way around this building and show you some more. But I think I'm going to drive over there. So I'll go back to the car after I snap maybe a picture or two over here. The sun is not in the ideal spot. I need to be on the other side of the building for good pictures over here, I think. But, uh, you know, I'm just probably going to head back to the car. And uh, drive on over to the other distilleries that are right here that still have a pretty cool rustic look. They just don't have the 
same unique history this one does. Now, had I turned left, uh, we could have went to the Woodford Reserve, but it's not that very photogenic of a place, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's more of an industrial looking place. Um, as you could turn right though, you head down to some smaller distilleries, which do have that, uh, I like to call it the Red Dead Redemption feel. Um, there's some old houses here on the right. Uh, driving, so apologies. You know, there's some old stuff on the right. We got some more barrel houses on the left. I believe these belong to Jim Bean. Um, and they did have a fire out here. A year or two ago and uh, a lot of bourbon ended up in the Kentucky River which is literally just right behind that tree line and then we come up over here and you can see I think Knob Creek uh, Glen Creek and there might be one more well what do we got it's Glen Creek right there I think Knob Creek is behind it I could be wrong and I think there's another small one there but uh, behind these tree lines but again, you get old rustic buildings, um, been there for a long time, and uh, it's just a neat looking area. But then we come out on the road, well, after the, the lane divider stops, this road gets a little sketchy and it gets um, a little bumpy. There is a kind of a waterfall that kind of tends to come down it every now and then because of the way water drains. Um, you know, it's coming up off this hill here and the water likes to uh, cross the road because it's got nowhere else to go. Um, they didn't like really plumb any drainage under the road. They just let it flow over it. So if it's been raining, you got to be careful right around this section right here. This is where the water pulls up <laughs> right before a turn. Yeah, it's really super duper safe. And people love to fly around this turn not knowing that there may be another car coming at them. Uh, so they'll come across the center line there or the center part of the lane and surprise you're there and you have a lot of close calls out here because this road is pretty narrow all the way through it's pretty bumpy all the way through and um i'm gonna be honest with you i really shouldn't be doing this um so the next stop however is going to be downtown frankfurt and then maybe we'll swing over to the capitol um and show you the, the capitol building maybe take a picture to there i don't know it's nice that they finally repaved some of this. Um, this section hasn't been repaved, although this is probably the section needs it the most. I was out here on the bike one day, and uh, it was dip, duck, dodge, dive, and dodge to uh, get around these potholes and stuff. Um, and it's funny because this section of road has been closed off to the public for years. There's the Kentucky River. Um, it was closed off for a couple of years, and uh, I was like, yeah, cool, they're going to repave it all. And they just repaved some of it, and they didn't even repave the worst bits of it necessarily or widen it where it needs to be widened or anything like that so uh, it is nice to have the shortcut to get back in the downtown frankfurt though because uh, you can just hop off the highway get a nice little scenic drive in and then pretty much pop out right on the skirts of the capital and uh the historic uh, frankfurt so i'm gonna put the camera down and we will resume once we get into downtown frankfurt there's usually a couple things there that i tend to be drawn to from a photographic eye but um not always sometimes i just walk around with the camera i didn't take a single polaroid down there at old taylor because well the lighting the, for the shots i wanted to take a polaroid wasn't ideal for polaroid and uh it was a lowered matrix i'm all about that that's cool um and uh, uh everything else i just really didn't feel like taking a polaroid up but i did take i think five or six shots down there with the nikon so off to a good start and the shutter hasn't stuck yet yes off to an even better start let's let's hope the shutter um has loosened up and is going to work properly from now on uh yep we'll resume later so i grabbed the last parking spot on this street and this is like my favorite street to park on because it's brick road and i don't know i just I, I like parking here leave me alone i wonder if their prices are dirt cheap you might not get that. I hope you do. That is a bad joke, but I hope you get it. But this is what I like to shoot. I like coming into cities and shooting cityscapes. I usually try not to get people involved. But if I can capture someone in a natural state without them knowing they're being photographed, it makes for cool pictures. I'm not sure what these rocks are all about, but there's rocks all over. 
in all their political statements. We're not a political channel. Jeez, we got more politicians out here trying to push their agenda on us. Just go away, leave people alone. But uh, on the other side of these terrible politicians, um, you get my joke. Yeah, it was it was bad, but I'm gonna do it. So over here we have the original Capitol building and I guess Senate office or whatever, Congress office of Kentucky. Um, I don't know, somewhat photographic, but that's more of a, I don't know, this and the normal cap, the new Capitol building, the one we use currently, it just feels so much like a tourist activity, not going to lie, so we'll just walk by it. So, I think somebody was playing Tetris or sucks at Legos and don't know how to match there, uh, kind of neat though, um, but uh I do like looking at the architecture as well, uh, and as you can see, I think this building used to be a pharmacy. <laughs> I, I'm not sure why, but uh, it gives me pharmacy feels. Maybe it's the fact that there's that pharmacy tool up there, whatever that's called. Uh, so as we walk around a little bit more, let's check on the Polaroid I took. Let's see if we can get it up here. Not bad. Um, clock face is kind of blurry. But I think that looks pretty cool. Let's take a second to look at somebody else's art. This is what I meant about the video earlier. There's a lot of bourbon photography. Um, but kind of like, I can't tell what kind of car that is. Kind of like that. I really like this corner shot with the car tracers. Well, I was going to try to do a couple pictures around here, but um, it appears that they have the dome um, under construction there. Whatever you want to call that, the, the top of the building. So that's going to ruin all the pictures. So there's one more spot down here. An old garage. It's usually got some cool stuff. Um, sitting outside. And it's auto-related, so yeah, we're still an automotive channel. Well, that building right there is usually he's got some cool stuff outside but maybe he no longer is there um so there was nothing cool out there there's a mercedes kind of a early 90s convertible sl other than that nothing there's usually like some old american stuff out there uh, some old trucks and stuff and usually for good pictures i like to stop there and do a little car spotting but um you know it's kind of the thing you never know if it's going to be there or not, especially if you don't come to the area a whole lot. So that's pretty much all I kind of set out to photograph today, but um, you know, we'll just keep driving around and uh, this could be the end of the video. There may be more. Who knows? We'll see. All depends on how inspired I feel. We'll see. Or goodbye. One or the other. So this is the uh, art gallery from yesterday that kind of re-inspired me a little bit. Um, I'm going to give her this Polaroid, and I was kind of hoping it had like an actual mail slot, but it doesn't look like she does. But I'm going to leave this just as a thank you to her um, for getting me going again. Sometimes you just need that little bit of a push or a little bit of extra. So we're just going to try to maybe slide this under the door and ding. hopefully that finds her well. And uh, yeah, um, I'd like to kind of go in there again and, and show you what she had, but. Uh, with the camera this time with the phone camera out but um yeah it's just closed so we'll just uh sit here and walk around georgetown take up more pictures and find something to eat because i'm hungry Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little something different than normal, um, but it is part of my life. Um, and I do like to typically include cars with my photography, but uh, today just no such luck. And I did kind of go out with that, getting back to my roots of doing, you know, landscapes, urban city photography, um, scenic photography, whatever you want to call it. 
so that's kind of how I got my start with photography. That's how I learned, and it's kind of fun to always to go back to it sometimes. Um, even when you walk around the same areas, sometimes you can find stuff in a different angle you didn't see or a different light you didn't see, and that's why I tend to do it. Uh, there have been days where I've gone out with the camera and taken maybe one or two pictures and been like, well, that wasn't really worth it, but um, you never know. You know, some days you just you see things better, you feel artistic, you see artistically. Uh, and other days you just, you're kind of down in the dumps and maybe the walk is what's more important than the pictures. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle right now. I'm still thinking about things in the pa from the past that have happened recently. And, um, you know, the walk is very helpful for me and the drive is helpful for me. Even it helps clear the head and such. Uh, this is probably a long video. Uh, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to get my tacos because you don't get a body like this without not going to Taco Bell. Um, so, I'm going to get my lunch and slice all these clips together and uh, publish this. So, thanks for watching. As always, don't like and subscribe. Nobody ever says that, so I figured I would. Uh, goodbye.